everybody for being here. So excited to be in this chapel and to play this concert for you. We're bringing you music for the bassoon today, the bassoon that was invented in France around the, uh, during the court of Louis XIV, and then it was, tra it was transmitted throughout Europe in part because many French wind players emigrated to other parts of, other parts of Europe. Um, <clears throat> so that was a piece by Fosch, Johann Friedrich Fosch, and Fosch was a contemporary of Telemann, a little bit younger, and they studied in the same place. They both were law students in Leipzig, um, and uh, they both kind of had similar things going on. They were both in line ahead of Bach to be uh, the new leader of the Thomasschule in Leipzig, and uh, and. He's just got a lot of, you know, fun. Well, he's got a lot of notes for the bassoon. That's that's one part of it. So next, our next sonata goes back to France, where the origins of the bassoon, the the bassoon that came out of the the Dulcian and older Cham double reeds, and uh, this sonata is uh, written by uh, Joseph Bodin Boimotier, and it's in G minor, and uh, it's it's kind of a kind of a party uh, pirate party.
Germany and then on to England, Galliard, John, John Ernst Galliard, his parents were French immigrants who came to a German court and uh, worked for the local monarch. And he was trained there and then emigrated to England um, and uh, worked as an oboist as well as a composer. His, um, his great success came when he uh, uh, mid-career mid in England when he started doing pantomimes, which were these huge spectacles um, with, like, you know, volcanoes and dancing and mimes. Um, and uh, right after that, he decided to write his seminal work, a collection of bassoon sonatas. Um, and these get played uh, a lot as young players, young bassoonists. Um, and, but they have a lot of, they just have a lot of fun character to them. Um, and so this is the sonata number four in E minor. Thank 
one last piece. Uh, this is maybe one of the, it's just one of the nicest pieces ever written for the bassoon. This sonata is in F minor um, by Telemann. Uh, Telemann was a great assimilator of different styles and different, you know, new sounds and instruments. And I, I can imagine Telemann as these, these French wind instruments are coming into Germany. He's like, yeah, that's great, you know. Um, that's, what, that's what I imagine Telemann being like. And, uh, and this, this piece is, I mean, it's, it's just such a really beautiful piece. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Telemann Sonata, F minor. Thanks once again for being here. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was great fun, and I know that everyone enjoyed that. Our thanks to Joe, Robert, and Seraphim for so brilliantly showcasing the full gamut of artistic possibilities for the solo bassoon repertoire of the 18th century. Thank you so much. My name is John Thies, and I'm the executive director of Gotham Early Music Scene. Midtown concerts are generously supported by the Howard Gilman Foundation, the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, the New York State Council on the Arts, and you, our audience, thank you. And Gems also thanks Rebecca Pachevsky, who's in our audience today, for the loan of this beautiful harpsichord for this concert series. For our online viewers, Visit midtownconcerts.org and show your support for this series by making a generous donation. GEMS has two very special events next week. The first is a lute song masterclass that'll be at Madison Ave Presbyterian Church next Tuesday at 2 p.m. with Dame Emma Kirkby, legendary early music soprano and world-renowned lutenist Jacob Lindbergh. They will be working with six young singers and lutenists on wonderful repertoires. You won't want to miss that. And next Thursday, of course, join us back here for Midtown with Ensemble Laureate presenting 17th century cantatas of love and passion. That's here at St. Malachy's Church next Thursday at 1.15 on West 49th between Broadway and 8th Avenue. Thank you. <laughs>